Welcome to my kitchen. This is Keshar and I've got a big treat for you today. You have been asking me about uh, pastry and uh, baking and all that and I'm honored a friend of mine from Vancouver has flown in just to be in the show here and show you how to do baklava and we're going to uh, do baklava and maybe some other uh, pastry if you have time anyway I'm going to introduce you to my good friend Sherry from Vancouver hi Sherry hi thanks for having me mm -hmm. so um, for making baklava uh, we need certain things um, Keisha was kind enough to prepare everything have everything for us here you can see um, all the items we need. We need, of course, um, almond. The baklava I make is with almond. People make it with different things, but I prefer almond. If you can't find ground almond, you can always get the whole ones. No skin and it has to be raw. You can uh, make your own. We need icing sugar. We need sugar for syrup, that is for after to pour over it. We need cardamom, or in Farsi we call it hell. Hell. Not hell. <laughs> Actually, it's H E L L, I guess. And then uh, we need um, pistachio Jeez. dry, uh, raw pistachio slivers. Butter, we need to brush our tray and our phyllo pastry. Of course, we need phyllo pastry. Comes in a package in your freezer section of all the stores. And um, I open it and show it to you guys. Of course, we need a very, very sharp knife. Um, definitely need your brush so you can brush um, your uh, dough and the tray. So um, we can start right now yeah. if you're you ready. Cook your, uh, you cook your uh, syrup before you start? Um, you? Yeah, the syrup has to be ready. We make it ready. Um, it's usually two cup sugar, one cup water. Nothing special, just sugar and water. And uh, we can show you ours is ready and it's just actually slowly reducing. It's not very thick right now, it needs to get thicker. But while we're doing our baklava, this is going to actually reduce by itself. So leaving um, it on a medium heat, that's good. Right? That's right, we just leave it aside. It's extremely dangerous and warm, so if you're making it, please be careful. Don't have children in the kitchen, don't go near it. It's extremely hot and it burns like hell. <laughs> 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 and then you need a moist towel because um, Usually I don't use it because I've done a lot of it and I'm faster, but um, phyllo pastry is really, really thin. It's like a really thin paper. It gets dry really quickly. So um, it's a good idea to have a moist uh, towel nearby so you can actually cover it. So let's... Um, How about the oven? When do we need to, do we need to preheat the oven? You, it's a good idea to preheat your oven. You uh -huh. don't need it too hot. I usually go 350 and um, your... Um, oven um, should be that the, the shelf should be in the middle uh -huh. you want it kind of evenly cooking right. and um, so yeah I like my oven preheated okay it doesn't have to be if you didn't do it it's okay do you want it but in convection or just regular baking convection would be lovely okay. yes thank okay. you but it's okay even if you have old school ovens and okay. nothing's fancy it's still okay, okay. You don't have to have Keisha Kitchen's fancy stuff to make baklava. <laughs> <laughs> you can do whatever. So this is actually our pa phyllo pastry for people that never seen it before. It's extremely thin and it's lovely. And there's a lot of things you can do actually with it. It's not just baklava. They're very handy to have. I usually, if I have extra, I usually fold it back in like that, put it in a nice tight bag and put it in my freezer for later on to use it. You can defrost it and use it for other things. Of course. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to melt some of our butter because we need to brush everything and it's going to melt really quick. Can you please? You. Thank yes. you. I'm your helper today. Well, thank <laughs> you, sir. I appreciate that. Okay, then. And that's going to quickly melt. So you mix uh, the almond and the sugar and so um what we do now i guess while we're waiting for that we can do this um so this is our almond for a tray of uh, like this size how many cups of almond do you use um 
I usually like it really thick. Uh -huh. I like my baklava really thick. Uh -huh. Actually, this is what, about an inch? So uh -huh. the thickness of this tray is perfect. Um, you know, to be honest with you, because I cook um, without measurement, because I've been doing it for and so long. Like you know, <laughs> but, but you can actually, I think about two pounds what I do, I buy. Right. And if there's extra, again, you can pack it really tight and keep it in the fridge, make other pastries with it. It's, right. it's lovely. But um, the thing that you need to know is um, you need to, for two cups of almond, you need one cup of icing sugar. You don't want it too sweet because later on you are going to put syrup over it. Um, as for cardamom <clears throat> or hell, um, I like a lot because it's the smell of it. If this is the only thing we use in there, I use in there. Some people um, use um, rose water well. in their uh, syrup. I don't. Yeah. I don't like. I just love the smell of cardamom. I do it. I think it's. Um, very traditional, very original yes. way. Because you know, baklava, they make it all over the world. They make it in um, Greece. Greece, they make it in Russia. I think ours is actually the Iranian, the Persian way is uh, very similar to Russian, right. you know? Mm -hmm. So um, that's what it is. Now, this is actually for the decoration for the end of it. So we're not gonna do anything with that till the end. But um, cardamom, honestly, I use it to, t to my taste. I like to smell my food, I like to smell it. So, but I use a lot. So you, lose, uh, you use a little bit more because you're not using any rose water. Absolutely. But you know, um, almond, it's um, really good itself. When it's cooked, you can smell it. I wish um, this camera could tell you how wonderful these dishes smell after, but... I'm gonna give you the spoon, that probably would be Thank better. you, sir, that's lovely. So, yeah, we just wanna make sure we mix everything evenly, right? Yes. I'm not putting my icing sugar in yet because I want them, I do them one by one, I wanna make sure this is added in well. Mm, smells good. Is it melted? Yes. Okay, please. So should I bring it to you or? Please kindly, I need it nearby so I can actually use it and brush. If you want me to brush the tray for you? Sure, why not? So um, brush everything really well, please. Am I adding my icing sugar right now? Again, I do it slowly, gradually, one by one. Made a mess. You want to make sure it's not little balls of it. If you like, you can actually use a, um, what do you call it, a strainer or whatever to just yeah. do that. But there is no big, it's not a big deal. It's not a hard thing to do. So you and, just uh, your, The butter it. that you use is uh, unsalted, right? Always for baking, unsalted butter. Right. You don't want salted because uh, for any baking. You know, because salt is a very important thing in most of baking and you don't want to change the recipe by adding salted butter. So again, there are like lots of little sugar balls in here. We want to get rid of them. We do it slowly. You want to make sure it's all fully buttered. Is that good enough? Um, yeah, that's actually a little bit too much. Yeah, that's okay. okay now I'm going to paint it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just even it out. Even Good it idea. Out. Thank you. That's awesome. Okay, so if you look, this is actually almost done. You can see that it's kind of turning white. Uh -huh. So you can actually see that there is icing sugar in there. You can always taste it if you like. Would you like to try a bit and see? Yes, just put some. Let's see. <laughs> mm. See you? Perfect. I would add a bit more cardamom because I really like cardamom. So, it's not a hard thing to do. Don't get scared by it. There you go. So, we're ready. So, now we're going to have this tray just next to us. Right. You can cover it too if you like. I usually put it under, it just gives moisture, but it's up to you. So, um, 
I, the first one is kind of to measure for me to see, but this is a bit big for the tray and I like to make sure it sits perfectly. So what I do is try to line it to the edge of my tray. The reason is, of course you can cut it after and all that stuff, but you know, this looks nicer. The edges even look beautiful when you're done, right? So then, oh, I need my butter, okay. please. And you need to butter every, you need so to. So there is no way to make this baklava fat free. Sugar free, fat free, no, just don't eat too much. If you can, <laughs> if you can help yourself. Good luck with that. That's right, it's really delicious. So, you know what, you don't make a mistake. There's nothing to make a mistake. Don't be afraid, just, it's just a dough, you know? And you don't need to fully butter it. You just don't, you want between the sheets, the butter between the sheets. So you just go, mm -hmm. if you rip it, it's okay. So yeah, actually, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Again, it's up to you, whatever you do. I'm just patching up, right? So how many uh, sheets? Uh, um, the bottom, you want it to hold, just like a cheesecake, right? The oh. bottom is really important. So same idea, you want the bottom to be thick. I do twice, so what I do, what I say twice, I mean at the bottom I do the sheets to hold my baklava down, right? Mm -hmm. And then when it's enough that we see, we can count it and see, I don't count, but we can see. Mm -hmm. Then we put our almonds in there, then we put one middle layer again uh, of 810, then, yes. then the top layer, and yeah. then the top one, right? Yes. So, uh, but we'll see, we'll see, let's see. So what you do, you just, you know, you need to make sure there's no bubbles kind of, you want it to be tight, right? Mm -hmm. And just butter, stick them together, it's the glue, right? Of course, if you want to make a real traditional baklava, you make the dough yourself, but yeah. why? No, you like me, everything is just, it gets an easy way out. Well, why not, right? It doesn't, it doesn't change the recipe, no. it's okay. No, because here we don't have the time to spend hours and hours to fix things. Exactly. And this is a lot of baklava too. This tray is pretty big. I usually make bigger trays. I like to give it to friends, but this is a lot of baklava as well. Absolutely. Baking, definitely. You want to make enough Shit. to... Yeah, absolutely. So again, see, it doesn't matter if it's no. ripped. It's just, it's just a dough, right? You just... Just the layers. Absolutely. Yeah, you can make a lot of good things with these. If it's ripped, I keep them. I make Spanica pita all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, use the same dough. So... Do that. just butter as we go like it is and but the, the thing is the first time I used it I, I was so scared of touching it I keep ripping it and I think it took me I don't know an hour to make a tray of baklava and I was so upset because I keep ripping it but it looked exactly the same as what I do now even at the end because they just stick back together it's so thin right yeah. how about that corner you're gonna leave we're that. going there no we're going there now we just kind of even it out right I see. Now, I have bigger trays at home, so uh -huh. actually my tray fits one. I see. Makes it so easy. Uh -huh. You just put it in. But if you have this, you do that's fine. The only thing is this tray. I think I actually told you earlier, because this is Teflon, uh -huh. uh, and we have to cut our baklava before we put it in the oven, um, our knife is going to make uh, lines. Yeah. That's so then fine. just use this again for that. And yeah. You just don't want it to get rusty when you wash it, dry it, because then there is no, you know? Mm -hmm. So, let's see. See, it's getting thick. You still can see the bottom of the pan. I don't like that yet. Yeah. That I want it to be thick enough. Like, see, middle is kind of yeah. getting better. This way, um, because it needs to hold this. This is a really heavy yes. uh, filling, right? So if you don't do it thick enough, it's not going to hold itself. Mm -hmm. So you're going to put more layers on that side? Absolutely. I'm just going to even it out to the other side. Now, yeah. I actually think next time I wanna, I'm going to turn my tray and do yeah. this way because we're actually folding too much there. But again, it's okay. It's not that 
sensitive, you know? It had a bit of a flower there. This is a good brush. It's thick and makes well, it faster. I also use it for painting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Keisha, really? No, kidding. No. No, no he's joking. Don't believe it. <laughs> They're not going to eat it. That's why I said that. So I can eat it all myself. <laughs> okay, perfect. So now, see, it's, it's done. It's good. It looks great. It's thick. Beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. So um, what we do now... Again, make sure everything is together. So now we need to put this. How is our syrup doing? Yeah, I'm just looking at it. Is it happy? Doing good? Doing good. Yeah. Okay, so kind of half of it, well, not kind of, exactly half of it goes in there. And just get right in there, even it out. Do you uh, want to give me a spatula or something? Sure, my fingers are good, but sure. <laughs> I think I washed my hands. <laughs> I hope I washed my hands. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Needs to be even though, right? You make sure. Yeah, you guys can eat it, not me, so <laughs> not my problem. I just make it. Okay, so you really want it to be even though. It has to be even. It can't be bumpy. And one thing to look for is um, these brushes like to shed. Yes. Doesn't matter what kind of brush you use, they do. Just pull it off. It's okay. Nothing bad happens. It's not going to come out in your mouth or nothing. When it bakes, it's going to come out. But still, just little things to watch for. Okay, so um, that's it. Now I push it down with my very clean fingers. <sighs> Big, big nails. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm very clean. Okay, so you want it to be really, really tight, right? Because this is going to... It can be used on a piece of board or something to put there and touch it. You don't need to. You can do anything. You can use a pot, mm -hmm. right? You don't have to. Just by your fingers, fine. It's actually, I think when you touch your food, even though I don't really like touching food too much, but when you touch it, you actually give it more love. Exactly. You passed the law, right? Okay, so um, now we need to only couple, not too much, because we're going to go again, right? So let's um, do this again. Brush it. Now, okay, this is going to be a little bit slippery. It's going to annoy you a bit. You know, it's going to get caught and ripped and whatever. Just don't worry. It's going to be fine. Don't get nervous. That's what I mean, you know? And then we can just do this down, right? And we need to butter again, so we can put one more over it. How many more sheets we have, you think, Keisha? Mm -hmm. Five. Five more? Yes. Okay, so let's do one more here on this side, and then maybe we can, okay, let's see. Uh, you know what, let's turn it. Mm. See, it's all about 7 m. Okay, so let's do two more. So it's just all about turning and making it even because you want the dough to be even. This needs to, when it's cut, it needs to be, you know, um, an even shape of pastry. So even shape pastry. So you want the thickness to be the same. So you push it down, you pat it down. Okay, and... Uh, there we go. Butter it again. We're going to go one more. We have enough, right? Yes. So let's do that. This is one. We can't really go like that, can we? Uh, I can cut it actually. Let's you cut it. Where is that? No, this is good. This is good. I'm just. This is actually a pretty sharp knife, and it's kind of like a blade. It's very good. That's what you need. You need a very sharp knife. You, you can't go. Um, just any knife, you have to get something that is really sharp. So see, cut the edges. Let's just keep this here for now, sorry. Just pointing the knife at you, sorry. 
I like to brush it one more time before I put almond over it. Okay, so now it's not that hard to make balada. It is not at all. That's what I said at the beginning. Very easy to make. And it doesn't take that long either. Anybody can do it and it's not very expensive either. How it's long do you leave it, uh, in the oven? Okay, now the oven thing, you can say 20 minutes, 25 minutes, but honestly you need to keep an eye on it because phyllo pastry burns really quickly. Um, this doesn't really need to cook, right? It's not that much to cook, it's just the butter and the dough, right? right? So you need to stay there and stay in the kitchen and watch it. I think by the time you finish your cup of coffee, it should be done, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like. Has a lot to do with how big your cup is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like my coffee, so <laughs> a big cup. Yeah. Again, you need to make sure this is even this is good those um you know the this the metal spatulas that we use right. for baking and decorating cake those are really good too we can use those too or you can just use your fingers it's still fine you know you don't really need to go buy kitchen tools to make baklava sometimes people think for following a recipe they have to go buy a whole bunch of equipments you don't so again you need to make sure this is fully fully packed in Maybe you can get your kids involved and get them to yeah. push it down for you, you know? <laughs> Why not? I love getting kids involved in cooking. I like the baklava to be a, a bit moist. When I make mine, mm -hmm. I make sure that I have enough syrup yeah. and uh, for, for it to be moist and not too uh, tough. You know what? Um, <clears throat> you can add as much syrup as you want. A lot of um, friends think that um, our baklava, like Iranian baklava, is like uh, Greek ones because the one, the Greek ones, you pick it up and it oozes. Actually, they use honey um, for their baklava too, or they put some honey in it. We don't, obviously. And um, you can add syrup. My husband really likes it, moist as well, so I add more syrup to it. My uncle likes it really soft as well. The same thing when I make it for him, I do the same. But um, one important thing is, you need to cover it after when it's cooked. If you leave it open, like you just put a you know wrap over your dish, it's gonna get dry. And again, you you can add syrup after too, but it's not the same. But yeah, just add more syrup. Okay, so we're almost done. We just need to um, put this now. I like you can again do what we did before, but I really like to um, do the single sheet because. I have to cut this after I'm done with this. And when it's separated sheets, it's gonna move around mm -hmm. and it's gonna crack and we don't want that. So we need, we like to do this, but you know, if you can't, you can't, that's okay. But try to use one sheet. So we're gonna do what we did in the middle layer. We're gonna cut the edges. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna brush all of them and layer all of them and then cut them all together mm -hmm. at the same time. So, um, Thank you, sir. So try. So why do, uh, what's the difference between uh, putting layer and layer? Why don't you just put the whole thing together? You need to butter between. Yeah, the reason I'm saying mm -hmm. this yeah. is for... Uh, yeah, because if you don't butter, butter is kind of like glue and also, of course, the taste too, but it's like glue in between and they're gonna flake. If you put it without buttering it in the oven, it's going to flake and it's gonna, they're very soft, right? Mm -hmm. Already flaking and breaking just by, you know, mm -hmm. Touching it. Yeah. yeah, and just air, right? They dry really quickly and they flake. So if you don't butter it and put the whole thing in there and put it in the oven, uh, it's gonna flake and it's gonna break and that's it. Then it's over. Sorry. See, very easy, right? You've got four more sheets. Not hard. Perfect. You know what? I don't think we need four more sheets. Okay. I think we're good. We can actually do something else with those. We can. Do one of those little, little bundly yes, thingies. Yeah. I want to do one of those because I really uh, do You like that? Like you that. do? Yeah. You know what? If you have those mini, um, you know, muffin pans, the yeah. little tiny ones that are like mini, mini, yeah. you can put one sheet over it, okay? And then with maybe something like this, push it down okay. in each and then put whatever you like in it. Um, you have mushrooms in the fridge, do that. You have 
almond, do that, whatever you like. Pistachio, anything you want, and then, um, then put it in the oven. Or you can put another sheet over and put it in the oven. Oh, but always, always you brush your phyllo pastry with butter. It will flake no matter what you're making. If you don't, it's gonna flake, break, and you can't use it. So I'm cutting the edges right now. See, I just cut it right there. I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. See, because this knife, this knife is really, really sharp, it works really well. Okay, so now this is the only part that is hard, and um, it needs practice. If you didn't do a good job, it's okay. Um, I like to do it the traditional way. Okay, so first of all, I'm buttering all the edges. Um, I want butter going all the way in. It's gonna soak all around. The moister it is, the easier to cut. If you're not comfortable with cutting the way I'm going to cut it, um, first of all, you can use a ruler to help you guide your knife. <clears throat> Excuse me. If, um, if you don't wanna do that, you can cut it just regular square shapes. It's okay. Mm -hmm. See, I'm pushing the butter down. So this is moist. Another thing is if you don't butter it properly as you're going, when you're cutting it, it's not gonna cut well. And you'll see even now it's gonna be hot, uh, hard to cut. Okay, so let's try to cut this thing. So you cut it before you put the syrup? Absolutely, before I put it in the oven, I see. right? So what I like is um, diamond shape. So, okay, so what we do, I'm actually gonna cut, mm -mm. No. I'm gonna cut from center. See, if this knife wasn't sharp, and it is sharp and it's still cutting like that. If it wasn't sharp, it wouldn't go all the way. You need to go all the way to the end. You cannot, you cannot cut it after. Right. The reason I went center is because I'm not using a ruler, right? I wanna make sure I'm doing them evenly. So, How about cooking and then baking it and then cutting it? There's no way you can cut it after. It's gonna flake, it's nice. gonna break. Even now it's separating. Just want everybody to know that. Yeah, and you need to be fast mm -hmm. because it will dry. So if you use a ruler, it's going to look right. beautiful. But this is kind of rustic no, look. You're not going to measure it. Make sure no, this is rustic size. baklava by Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So... Now, if you, if you don't want to do it the other way, you can just right now just cut it and make it squares. But I like to do it like this. Now, this is, this is the pain part. See, it's going to move around and drive me insane. See, this is the shape I like, the diamond. The reason I said no to is because I like to do things my way. Yes. I'm a bit bossy. Yeah. You know. I've been around people like you. Yeah? Yes. You mean you're not one of me? You're not like <laughs> exactly me? Exactly one like you. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. What you're talking about. Uh -huh. yes. Like to be in control of my baklava. No, okay. I think most, of the, most chefs are like that. Yeah. You know, because you want to do things your way and... Oh well, yeah, it's, I don't know, cooking, a lot of it is with passion. Right. It is an art. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. So you need to uh, be able to express right. your love and yourself in there, so. Uh, uh, right? Pretty, right? Yes. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. And they're big pieces. Right. Like when you buy it in Iran, right. sometimes it's smaller and you have to a few. With this, sometimes, honestly, if you have, I'm not a huge fan of baklava myself, but um, you have just one and is, is enough. You're happy. You, you, yes. It does it, you know. Um, in Iran, they make them, I don't know if they do anymore, but they used to make them. I remember my mother did um, custom for you, and they're yeah. done in smaller metal boxes that you just take home. Right. And for our new year, for our aid, we have a drive for Nourouz. Right. It is a popular pastry for Nourouz, isn't it? It is, it is. They're pretty, huh? You know, that's why we thought it would be a good time to do it now. Uh-huh. We're getting close to eight and mm -hmm. So everyone can practice it. That's a good idea. You know? Maybe you can start doing it, they can start doing it at home in smaller, 
you know, dishes. Yes. Not a big baking dish like this, maybe half of this, you know. Smaller is easier, it's um, good practice. Almost there. Now, because I'm not doing it with ruler, of course, some of, some of them might be bigger, some of them might be smaller. So, a bit of a rustic look again, so. I'll take the bigger one. You take the bigger yes. one? Yes. You know which one I like? The corners. The corners that are dry and crunchy when it's cooked. Dry and crunchy and not much stuff in it. I really like those. And I like it moist and wet. That's, that's, what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> and we just used that joke for our baking show. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is when you cook with love. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> you just had to do that, huh? Oh, he doesn't know the joke. Okay. All right. So this is done. Now what I need to do is um, I need to use my butter. Okay. So see, if you don't butter it again, it's going to dry. Can you actually heat yes. it up for me for a second, please? That's so pretty. Our syrup is doing fine. Our syrup is reducing? Yes. Lovely. I think it's actually good. So maybe we can turn it off. One thing that is very important and I notice a lot of people don't know is you don't stir your syrup. Yeah. You put sugar in the pot, you pour your water over and you don't touch it. If you really want to mix it, you maybe move your, you know, Pan. pot a bit. But the thing is when you um, stir, stir it. it, you create bubbles. Right. And you can't get rid of those bubbles. Uh -huh. And bubbles turn to crystal. And yes. then you can't use it. And then when you pour it over your baklava, or if you use it for anything else, for any, any pastry or anything, right. it's just not good. It's not right. So you don't touch it. You just leave it as is. We both have uh, uh, colors that are yeah, you flower. Can, you that's right. Flower you can see. Over. You can see I touched my shirt. Oh, well. Is this good enough? I think so. I think so. It's just melted, right? Yes. Thank you, sir. Okay, yeah. sorry. Excellent. So we just need to brush all of our cuts here mm -hmm. because you don't want it to dry and you want the butter to seep right seep through, through, right? Exactly. When you do that, and this brush is amazing. It's thick enough that it actually you do it just once. With narrower brushes, you have to do it a few times. So you just go, actually, you know what? You can actually just pour it over, but yes. I'd rather do it like this. If something like this happened, don't freak out. So okay, just put it back. I say it because I did freak out the first time it happened. I'm like, oh no, I messed it up. It's okay. So I'll um, just, oops, just brush it all. There you go. Almost there. So then after this is done, we put this in the oven. We watch it carefully. Uh, when it starts turning golden, um, you can actually turn the oven down a little bit right now, please, because it's already warm, right? Yeah, the good thing about pre-warming is, is that preheating your oven is that um, it, it bakes faster. Right. Um, but you don't want to burn it, and um, you want it to bake so even. Okay. Sure, that's lovely. And then now we're going to put it in the oven and watch it. And when it's out of the oven, that's when we need to put our syrup over it then we decorate it with our pistachios and then what i do is i actually cover it up with uh, maybe a piece of parchment paper or something that it doesn't really stick too much to it mm -hmm. and cover it with a big towel mm -hmm. and i actually let it sit for a while mm -hmm. and when you do that it actually continue cooking right. basically that's what you do but when it's continuing cooking it's actually cooking with the syrup mm -hmm. so we're done you do the honor, sir. I do it? I do it. Okay, so there we go. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And um, grab that so cup of coffee and wait for it to cook. So can you do something with these? <laughs> um, sure. Well, um, do you know what? Let's use, where is your other almond? Use those pretty ones, the big ones, all right here. Here. There you go. Why, do, uh, why don't we put some of these in? Yeah. 
So I, I finished them. So you finished it? That's great. So, then you can... You want to do um, brush it? Yeah, let me see. Just want to see. Yeah, see, it's fun. You can do a lot yeah. of things with it. You don't waste it. I actually used to do it for um, Tahtig too. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Remember years ago, I had a dish in Turkey, and um, instead of, you know, the yummy tahdik that you make for your rice, mm -hmm. they made the rice inside phyllo and wrapped it all around. So they actually take it out of the pot and put it back in, so it's all around tahdik. Yeah. Why don't I put some uh, uh, Pistachio? Murapa. No, some, <gasps> some rapa in here. Ooh, what kind? Murapa, what kind? I have carrots and I have blackberries. You guys are in for a treat. <laughs> That looks good. Oh, and of course you made those too, yum. Yes. <gasps> Look at that carrot. Look at the color of that carrot. What is the other one? That's blackberry. Oh, yum. Ooh. See, when I talk about creating, that's what I mean. That's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Mm. Oh, I want to taste that. With my coffee. Where's my coffee? <laughs> Keisha gave me tea, but no coffee. Oh, well. He's going to make me pastry, though. <laughs> oh, that looks great. Oh, look at that. So pretty. He makes it pretty. Yeah, this one is diet, right? You make fun yes. of my baklava and this one is no fat. <laughs> <laughs> this one is completely fat free and sugar free. Abs sugar. Absolutely, sugar free for sure. Yes. <laughs> oh wow, that's just, look at that color. Yeah, we mm. have a DVD for, for the jam. More, more apple, yeah. Oh wow. Wow, this is beautiful, look at that. And then you're just gonna bake it um, on a tray. Wow, love it. And I'm gonna do one blackberry. Oh, jeez. Just like a strudel. Look at that. And the bottoms are folded nicely and neatly. <laughs> Look how pretty. <laughs> wow, love it, love it. And you cannot use, especially for baklava, you cannot use those oil, in, oil sprays right. uh, for your pan. You need butter, absolutely butter. There is no way around it. Look how beautiful that little yeah. pastry wild. is. What is it? It's a jam pocket or almond jam pocket kind of thing. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. You should, oh. You should taste my black oh, I, I should. I'm surprised I haven't. Oh. Jeez. Is that enough jam in there? Yes. Wow, look at that color. Isn't it beautiful? Mm. That okay, takes a long time. So tell them about oh. the DVD you have for Yes. Yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. We have a DVD. We have to speak now. Yeah, we are doing a DVD for. Uh, uh, Morabo, which is coming out soon. We came out the Torshi, and now it's time for Morabo. Then we are going to be showing all kinds of. I'm going to make a chef out of every one of you. I'm nice. Going to see that. Okay, now I'm going to roll this. Oh, pretty. See, because I don't want this to. Seep out of it. Yes. That's right. You go through thin. But again, if it does, it's okay. Yes. It's in the tray and it's butter. And actually, butter kind of seals it, right? It does. I just tried a little bit of your yeah. jam. It's lovely. Wow. <laughs> it's so good. You know, I like to eat jam with tea, like just jam by itself. Mm -hmm. And it's right. just delicious. We used to, when I was a kid, we used to uh, put, uh, my grandma used to make um, cherry, sour cherry jam. Uh -huh. And we put it in our tea, just actually put it in our tea. This jam kind of reminded me of that. It's really tasty. Oh, I, I show how to make my uh, 
Mora Bayar Balu or oh, yeah. oh yum. That's my favorite actually. Mora Bay Quince. Oh. Oh yum. Okay, now. Now. It's not even done yet, guys. Yeah. Just wait and see. Ooh ooh. This is definitely See, you're not wasting anything. Yeah. This way you're using it all. You don't feel bad. Well you can feel bad eating it. <laughs> Hit the gym after. Yes. <laughs> and tell me all about that. <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> wow, that looks amazing. Absolutely, Just sir. Thank you. Okay. No, no. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, why don't, why don't we turn it? Why don't we make it to like this? Like do this, do this. Okay. Do a pretty, there you go, a rosette. And then now you have to brush it. <laughs> See, cooking yeah. is all about creating and art. Can I have this? <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> awesome. This is lovely. We're going to watch it and see what happens. So, thank you so much, Sherry. Thank you for having uh, me. We're going to come back and uh, show you the presentation. Thank you. So we're ready now, and the baklava is in the oven, and Sherry mm. is going to show you how to take it out and what to do with it. So it's ready, hopefully. <laughs> you can see that it's golden. I wish you could smell it. it. Smells lovely. It's flaking up, which is fine. If you can see, the edges are kind of golden. Can you see it? Lovely. You see, yeah. Keshar, yeah. is that gorgeous? Yeah. And the edges are separating. And the th that's the thing, that's the sign that it's cooked. So now we need to, sorry, we need to take it out and add our syrup. Looks good. Yeah, it does. I'm happy. Now, you need to put your syrup over it. Of course, that's hot. This is hot. It's going to make a sound and it's going to uh, try to move some of these around because this is you know the, the liquid is going to push it don't panic i usually start this is a really good ladle I, I usually start from the corner you can you can hear it can you hear it yes you can smell the cotton yeah absolutely and when you put syrup over it it's actually yes. more right. you can make the syrup thicker too um, yeah, see that's the thing, you need to put things back yeah, in their yeah. places. That's okay, you adjust it, but you need to do this quickly because it's going to um, dry. Right. So, just go everywhere. Actually, maybe you give me the other ladle, this is a bit big, I can't see what I'm doing. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. So, there you go. Now, don't overdo it. You don't want them to swim in there. You just want it to be enough to absorb. You can always add more later, later if you want. Um, let's see. Okay, so the other side is actually pretty good because my towel underneath is not even, so it's like pushing it there. You want me to take the towel out? Um, I can do that. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, okay. So now we can see. We want to make sure it's even. So um, it seems okay to me. Now I usually buy my almond ready grounded so it's actually softer because it's done, I right. guess, with those big machines and right. whatnot. Uh, we did it at home here. And um, see, this is one of those brushy thingies yeah we couldn't find uh, yeah it's okay though it's not a big deal yeah so we couldn't find it so we did it ourselves now if you do it if you get the ready-made ones it's actually better okay so what we do now it seems to me that it's all soaked it looks pretty good because it will go in it will absorb it and he said he likes it wet <laughs> and so. moist and moist he I said it, not me. Well, we are putting the whole thing. <laughs> See? 
Okay, so now we want to decorate it. And also, you know, another thing is not only it makes it beautiful, it actually weigh it down, right? So, so pretty, so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Total Kodak moment. <laughs> Matches my nails too. Okay. So. Put some in this corner here. Sure. Okay, so we're um, we're done. We need to quickly wrap this, and we need our parchment paper. Yeah, exactly. And the reason you put this, you don't want the towel to stick to it. Um, you basically want it to continue cooking. So gently put your towel over it. And you know what? Put that one over it too. Why not? And just let it sit for a bit. And let's see what happened to your pastry. Yes. The pretty ones you made. smells amazing the smell of the jam oh wow look at no. that because of you want my sharp knife no, no you don't okay <laughs> see he wants to be in control he wants his own sharp knife look at that. <gasps> look how beautiful oh my goodness oh wow we should have saved some of the pistachio for that Oh, I have some Oh my goodness, look at that. Almond. Oh. Oh, look how beautiful. Looks like caramel, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Because yeah. it's cooked, it looks yes. like caramel. Well, it is kind of caramelized, right? Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Is, do you need the plate? Give me the white plate on the other side. The other side, sure. First, you need to go underneath. Speak up, speak up. You need to go under the dough. That looks so good. Wow. That's a whole lot of yummy. Goodness. Wow. Now if you give me one of those. The smaller ones? Mm -hmm. There you go. Wow, look how beautiful. Now, I need some of it. The goodies. What? This is hot. Mmm. Looks great. Wow, look at the color. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. That's just lovely. Oh, look at that. Seriously, wow. No. Fabulous. I still don't have a cup of coffee in my hand. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I wish Starbucks had delivery. <laughs> oh, you guys don't drink Starbucks here, do you? Oh, look at that. Okay, now I'm going to cut this. Oh, wow. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> Let me fix the coffee. Turn on the coffee. Oh, he's giving me coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Oh, wow. Oh, listen to that crunch. Wow. Oh, wow. The smell is just fantastic. Wow. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, listen to that crunch. Look at inside of it. Wow. There you go. Because it wasn't beautiful enough already. Lovely, just wow.
and it was the leftover and it took really a minute yes. or two to do it. Uh, Impress everybody. Anyone want to name this? <laughs> what is this called? Um, that is Cheshire. <laughs> no, this is uh, Carrots Turnover. There you go. <laughs> and this one is. They can't hear you, so you gotta. This one is Carrots Turnover. Carrots Turnover, okay. Yeah. And what is or Carrot Jam this, Turnover? Yeah. And, and this, this one? one is Blackberry. Not turned over yet. <laughs> it hasn't been turned over yet. It hasn't been turned over yet. That's just lovely. Yeah, look at that. Eh? Wow. Amazing. It's beautiful. It's easy. It's unique. And of course, he has to put his own touches. That's just lovely. Wow. Love it. Yes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> just awesome that's fantastic look oh wow really do you want to eat it now you just want to take a picture of it beautiful job thank you so much thank you for inspiring me we just need a few more minutes i think maybe to be able to pull one of the baklavas out so we can actually plate it and show yes. what it looks like when it's um when it's done can and I now what we're going to do, we are going to have the coffee, get your spoon, <laughs> and just tell everyone how it tastes. We will tell you how good it is. <laughs> Not sharing, just telling you. You would like coffee? Yes, please. <laughs> we're going to have coffee. See, what do they say? Squeaky oil, get, oh, squeaky wheel gets the oil. <laughs> See, I, I complain enough. <laughs> that I got my coffee now. <laughs> Thank you, Keisha. This is lovely. So I guess we come back after our coffee to reveal our baklava and uh, show everyone when you plate it and when you take it out how yes. it's going to be. And then you can tell them how it tastes. <laughs> exactly. I will. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead now. Well, re reveal time. Yeah. And waiting time. That's right. So, um, gently remove it. See, it didn't really stick to it. Um, you can actually bake it longer to make it darker color. Um, you can do a lot of different things you want. It depends. So, you know, first time you make it, you can tell. So now we need to kind of separate it. We cut it before so they are separated. If you let it sit after you um, remove everything a little bit, you know, longer, we just um, opened it so it's soft um, then you actually dry a bit and you can actually remove it easier but it's the same really it doesn't matter so how long should it let them sit um, with what we covered it right now it's been sitting for 20 minutes I think this is good enough I like to leave it open for about an hour after I open it that way it kind of air dries but uh, let's see if we can take some out and put it on a plate maybe um, let's try a yeah, this is actually, we put a lot of syrup because you like it syrupy. Um, again, if you like, you can always add more syrup later. If you like it sweeter. Yeah, it's not set yet. So uh, I'm just gonna take the corner one off. Thank you. You need to kind of guide the first few slowly out and then so you can see that's the way I like it moist yeah way. moist right exactly and it's delicious and it's beautiful so then you just slowly can remove it you can actually let it sit on the plate too to dry air dry as well so yeah so you can actually adjust it piece right here and you can see it's not sorry can for I borrow them to see then we can Again. leave the rest there for another for later actually later. needs to air dry a bit yeah exactly but right now you can just just so you see what it looks like and um, push it in exactly mm, yummy so you can decorate it of course you know you know you're doing it Keisha <laughs> There you go, and then, voila. Yes, just give me a minute. 
He wants to decorate it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you should try it and tell me what you think. It's not um, set yet, but the taste will tell you. It's mm. very loose right now. So you like it? Mm -hmm. You like it? Okay, good. Mm. <laughs> he liked it. He approved. Thank you. He Thank approved. You. Well, oh, good. Yes. Thank you. I hope yes. you guys try it and enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> it's so easy. Mm -hmm. Very easy. Very easy, and this is this has a lot more syrup than I usually put mm -hmm. in, but it will set. It will dry. Mm -hmm. it, the moisture will evaporate, and mm -hmm. it gets drier and set. <laughs> He's making yummy noises. He's liking it. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shelly. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>